So now we are moving towards 26 problem. The focal length of converging lens means convex lens is measured for violet, green and red. Just we solve this in previous f v is less than f r means in terms of focal length for convex lens convex give it will be reverse f v is less than f r means it is increasing order it is increasing order so now which colors we have violet green and red means we are moving from violet green and red in this way so it is increasing order of focal length so for red it is maximum so we will go with option a 26 a next 1990 apmt a plano convex lens is made of refractive index 1.6 the radius of curvature of the curved surface is 60 centimeter. The focal length of the lens is what is the formula? 1 upon f is equals to mu minus 1, 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2. What is mu? 1.6. Plano convex lens. First surface plane, second surface convex. Plane surface, radius of curvature, infinity. For second, it is negative, so it will become plus 1 by 60. So, what we are getting? 1 by f is equals to 0. 0.6 by 60, means 6 by 600, means 1 upon 100. So, what we are getting? f is equals to 100 centimeter. So, we are going with b. 28th, it is from 2002 AIPMT. A bulb is located on a wall. Its image is to be obtained on a parallel wall with the help of a convex lens. The lens is placed at a distance d ahead of the second wall. Then required focal length will be, we know that minimum focal length should be. 4f, you have experiment, you have derivation for your 12th class. 4f should be this d plus d. So, f should be 2d by 4 means d by 2. So, only d by 2. Next, it is from 2003 APMT. An equiconvex lens is cut into two halves along x o x dash and y o y dash the focal lens f f dash and f double dash complete lens and each half in case 1 and each half in case 2 initial focal length was f and first we cut along this Initial was f, along this it is f dash. If you cut along x o x dash, what is happening here? What is the formula for focal length? It is now f dash mu minus 1, material is same. 1 upon r 1 minus minus plus 1 upon r2 since no change in the radius of curvature of both surface no change in material y f will change it will be remain same mu minus 1 into 2 by r it means f dash should be equal to f what will happen in second case you are cutting along this axis now focal length is f double dash. So 1 upon f double dash is equals to mu minus 1. First surface is plane, so radius of curvature is infinity. 
minus minus plus it is 1 upon r. So, what we are getting mu minus 1 upon r. So, multiply and divide by 2. It means it is old focal length 2 mu minus 1 by r. So, it was 1 by f dash 1 by f 1 upon f it was. So, 1 upon f double dash is equals to 1 upon 2 f. So, f double dash will become 2 f double. So, f double dash 2 f, but f dash should be f. So, we are going with d option. So, 29th d option 30. It is from 2003. A convex lens it is dipped in a liquid whose refractive index is equal to the refractive index of lens. We detailed discussed in this problem. So, if a mu g l mu g is same denominator will become 0 and f will become infinity means invisible it will become invisible. So, focal length will become infinite. So, we are going with option b. 30th we are going with option b. 31st 2008 a boy is trying to start a fire by focusing sunlight on a piece of paper using a equiconvex lens of focal length 10 centimeter. The diameter of the sun is given, distance of earth from sun is given, diameter of the sun means it is sun, it is lens. We want to focus the image this distance should be equal to the focal length of lens. This distance is again given from sun to earth. If it is capital D, if I am taking its diameter small d and this distance I am taking r, angle should be arc upon radius means d by r should be equal to d by f. What we want to calculate diameter of the sun's image, we want to calculate the value of d. We want to calculate the diameter of sun's image and the diameter of the sun is given. So, d upon x we are taking it x is equals to d upon f what is x d the diameter of sun is 1.39 into 10 to the power 9 upon d, it is in meter, 1.5 into 10 to the power 11 into f, f is 10 centimeter means 10 upon 100 meter. So, what we are getting approximately 9 and 1, 10 zeros here and 13 zeros here. So, 1.39 upon 1.5. Simple calculators are allowed. 1.39 divided by 1.5. We are getting 0.92 into 10 to the power 10 and minus 13. So, minus 3 or we can write 9.2 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter. So, we will go with option C, 31st C. 32nd, it is from 1996 AIPMT. For a convex lens, focal length is 80 centimeter, concave lens 50 combined together. First, we will find resultant focal length. 
वन अपॉन एफ वन प्लस वन अपॉन एफ टू एंड वन अपॉन एफ इज द पावर वट इज वन अपॉन एफ वन कॉन्वेक्स लेंस फोकल लेंथ वन अपॉन एटी कॉन्केव इट इज नेगेटिव दे आर सींग माइनस वन बाय फिफ्टी टेक एलसीएम फोर हंड्रेड एट्टी फाइव जा फिफ्टी एट जा सो वॉट वी आर गेटिंग माइनस थ्री बाय फोर हंड्रेड दे आर इन सेंटीमीटर सो फोकल लेंथ वी आर गेटिंग दे आर इन सेंटीमीटर सो वी विल कैलकुलेट पावर नाउ सो फोकल लेंथ वी आर गेटिंग माइनस थ्री बाय फोर हंड्रेड सो पावर शुड बी हंड्रेड अपॉन एफ सो माइनस हंड्रेड अपॉन थ्री बाय फोर हंड्रेड वन अपॉन एफ वट इज एफ एफ इज फोर हंड्रेड बाय थ्री एफ इज फोर हंड्रेड बाय थ्री फोर हंड्रेड बाय थ्री सो वी आर पुटिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ एफ माइनस फोर हंड्रेड बाय थ्री Is minus point seven five diopter. So we are going with D. Thirty three from nineteen ninety eight. Aluminium object placed at a distance thirty centimeter, focal length twenty centimeter, other side of the lens. At what distance from the lens a convex mirror of radius of curvature ten centimeter be placed in order to have an upright image of the object coincident with it? What is happening here? a convex lens object is at 30 cm distance focal length is 20 cm you want image final image on this only you put one concave mirror what will happen if rays are coming convex mirror we are using convex mirror if for convex mirror rays are coming from its center of curvature then only it will reverse the rays on same path and you will get image where you put the object where focal where convex lens will form image 1 upon f is equals to 1 upon v minus 1 upon u so convex lens will make an image at a distance this 30 minus 20 it is 10 by 600 means on opposite side at 60 cm and convex mirrors radius of curvature is 10 cm if it is at 10 cm from this only then it can revert the rays so total 60 means if it is 10 this distance should be 50 cm so we will go with option c next 2000 aapmt a plano convex lens has radius of curvature 10 cm if plane surface is silvered it will behave like a note this formula very important it will behave like a concave mirror combination will behave like a concave mirror and its formula is minus r upon 2 into mu minus 1 so minus means concave mirror radius of curvature is 10 2 mu minus 1 means 0.5 means 1 by 2 so what we are getting minus 10 cm so focal length is 10 cm very important result remember it behave like if you are polishing the plane surface of plano convex lens it will behave like a concave mirror of focal length r upon 2 into mu minus 1 means i am saying concave mirror so no need to write minus it is concave mirror
Next, 2006, a convex lens and a concave lens, each having same focal length, put in contact. What is the power of this? 1 upon f. Focal length are same, but opposite nature. So, it will become 0. So, f will become 1 by 0 means infinity. So, power is 100 upon f. So, power will become 0. So, we will go with option A, 35A, 36, 2008, two thin lenses of focal length F1 and F2 are in contact, power of the combination, first we find focal length, what is focal length? 1 upon F1 plus 1 upon F2, means F1 plus F2 by F1, F2. So, power, focal length is F1, F2 by F1 plus F2, but power is reciprocal of focal length. So, it will become F1 plus F2 by F1, F2. So, we are going with B option. 37 from 1999, if the refractive index of the material of equilateral prism is root 3, angle of minimum deviation of the prism mu is root 3. Formula mu is equals to sin A plus delta M by 2 by sin A by 2 means sin 30. Take that side. So, root 3 by 2 is equals to sin A means 60 plus delta M by 2. It is the value of sin 60 degree. So, 60 degree is equals to 60 degree plus delta m by 2. It means delta m is equals to 120 degree minus 60 degree. So, what we are getting? 60 degree only. So, we will go with A option 37 A. 38, it is from 1994 AIPMT. Four lenses are with us. We want to make telescope. We want Largest magnification, magnification is FO by FE. Since we are using in telescope convex lens, focal length should be positive. So, it cannot be C or D. And focal length of IP should be less because it is in denominator. So, we will go for A option, 38A. Next, 1997 APMT, a astronomical telescope of 10 fold angular magnification means magnification is 10 length. What is the length? Astronomical telescope's length is FO plus FE and magnification is FO by FE. We want to calculate focal length of objective. So, we are seeing ki FO is equals to 10 FE. So, it means FO means 10 FE. So, 10 FE plus FE is equals to 44. So, 11 Fe is equals to 44 means Fe should be 4. If Fe 4, Fo should be 10 into 4 means 40 centimeters. So, we will go with B, 1997, 39 B. Next, a plano mirror is placed along the y axis facing negative y axis. The mirror is fixed, a point object is moving with 3i plus 4j in front of the plane mirror. The relative velocity of image with respect to its object is, we know the formula of relative velocity means relative means velocity of image with respect to object. So, reverse the velocity of object, you know the funda and add in the velocity of mirror. So, what they are saying, a plane mirror is placed along the axis facing negative y axis, the mirror is fixed, a object is moving with this object. So, we have to only reverse the relative velocity of image with respect to the, with respect to its object. Moving with 3i plus 4j, 3i plus 4j means it is 3i plus 4j. 
पॉइंट इस ऑब्जेक्ट इज मूविंग विथ थ्री आई प्लस फोर जे इज प्लेस अलॉन्ग द एक्स एक्सिस फेसिंग नेगेटिव वाई एक्सिस इट मीन्स इट इज कमिंग इन दिस वे नेगेटिव वाई एक्सिस मीन्स दिस so for mirror its image is at this place y coordinate is 4 means it is this is minus 4 so relative velocity should be with respect to object with respect to object means it should be double so if its velocity along y axis is minus 4 it should be double means 2 into minus 4 we studied in theory minus 8 so we will go with option a we will go with option a minus 8 j 40th a 41st a boy is 1.8 meter tall we want to see full image length should be 0.9 meter so we will go with c 42 object is placed in front of a convex mirror of radius of curvature this image is formed 8 cm behind the mirror behind the mirror means v is positive u we want to calculate not given we will not put sign convex mirror convex mirror means focal length uh, should be positive half of radius of curvature 10 cm So, what is the mirror formula? One upon f is equals to one upon v plus one upon u. U we want to calculate, not putting the sign. One by f minus one by v means one upon f means ten minus one upon eight. So, what we are getting? Eight minus ten minus two by ten into eight eighty. means minus 1 by 40 object is in front of the mirror at 40 cm so we will go with option b 40 second b 43rd a concave mirror gives an image three times large as the object please u is given u is always negative minus 20 cm they are saying image is real real means inverted so m should be negative what they are saying three times image means m is minus 3 for mirror formula of m is minus v by u m is given minus 3 u is minus 20 so what we are getting v is minus 60 we want to calculate focal length so 1 upon f is equals to 1 upon v plus 1 upon u v is minus 1 by 60 u is minus 20 take lcm 60 minus 1 minus 3 Minus four by sixty, minus one by fifteen. It is concave mirror, so focal length should be negative and value should be fifteen centimeter. Next, two objects A and B, when placed in turns in front of a concave mirror, give images of equal size. The focal length of concave mirror is ten point seven point five centimeter, and size of object A is three times the size of object B. the distance of b from the mirror if a is placed 30 cm what is the formula for magnification in terms of focal length note down it it is f upon f minus u if for a you are talking it should be this if for b you are talking magnification formula it should be f upon f minus u b what is given again they are saying ma upon mb we can calculate ma upon mb in case of a in case of a magnification means image size upon object size 
डिवाइड मीन्स रिवर्स ऑब्जेक्ट साइज अपॉन इमेज साइज What they are saying is size of object A is three times the size of object and image size we are getting equal. Image sizes are equal, so cancel with this. Size of A is three times the size of B, so we are getting one by three. What we are getting one by three. Now we are putting the value of this in this, so M A upon M B F will be cancel out. So we will get f minus u b upon f minus u a is equals to one by three. Now what is given? A is placed thirty centimeter from the mirror. U is always negative if it is given. U a is given thirty minus thirty minus minus it will become plus thirty. So what we are getting? 3f minus 3 times ub is equals to f plus 30. F is again given. The focal length of concave mirror is 7.5 centimeter. So what we are getting? 3ub is equals to 2f minus Thirty. Two f minus thirty. F is negative for concave mirror, so it will become minus fifteen minus seven point five into two minus fifteen and minus thirty minus forty five. What we are getting? M A upon M B. It was one by three. F minus U B, F is minus seven point five. So three F minus three U B, three F minus F it is two F. Three F minus three times U B is equals to F plus thirty. Take this F on this side, two F. Three U B is equals to two F minus thirty. F is seven point five. So seven point five into two fifteen minus fifteen minus thirty. It is going to be minus forty five. Magnification in terms of f. We know that magnification for mirror is minus v by u. And one upon f is equals to one upon v minus one by u. One by v plus one by u. So one by v is one by f minus one by u. It means u minus f by u f. So v is equals to u f upon. U minus f, u will be cancelled out. So f upon f minus u. We are using this formula only. M is equals to f upon f minus u. M b is f upon f minus u b. So what we are getting? M a by m b. M a means i a by o a. Two objects A and B, when are placed in turns in front of a concave mirror, gives images of equal size. Concave mirror is always making the focal length of the concave mirror is seven point five centimeter. So M A upon M B, we are getting O B upon O A. It is one by three. M A means F minus U A should be in numerator. F minus U B in denominator. Good. Three F minus three U B. Three F minus three U B is equals to F minus U A. U A is A is place thirty centimeters. U A was minus thirty, so it become 
एफ माइनस यू बी अपॉन एफ प्लस थर्टी थ्री एफ माइनस थ्री यू बी इज इक्वल टू एफ प्लस थर्टी सो थ्री यू बी थ्री एफ माइनस थ्री यू बी इज इक्वल टू एफ प्लस थर्टी सो टू एफ वी आर गेटिंग थ्री यू बी थ्री यू बी इज इक्वल टू टू एफ माइनस थर्टी We want to calculate this, and f they are saying 7.5 centimeter. So double is 15, 15 and 30. It will become minus 45. So ub will come, yes, ub will come minus 15. But since sign they are not talking about, so we will go with option B. Next. A ray of light strikes a silvered surface inclined to another one at an angle of 90 degree. Then the reflected ray will turn through, coming with normal will go with normal. So it will turn with 180 degree. So correct answer was D. So in this way, it is completed. Thank you.